A diplomatic dispute has intensified between China and Australia. It started with Canberra calling for an international independent inquiry into the origins of COVID-19 last week. Prime Minister Scott Morrison reiterated his plans on Wednesday. Australia will continue to, of course, pursue what is a very reasonable and sensible course of action. This is a virus that has taken more than 200,000 lives across the world. Now, it would seem entirely reasonable and sensible that the world would want to have an independent assessment of how this all occurred so we can learn the lessons and prevent it from happening again. China, Australia's biggest trading partner, feels slighted. The Chinese embassy has accused Canberra of, quote, petty tricks. Its ambassador, Cheng Jinye, said Chinese consumers could boycott Australian products and universities, while Chinese state media has also fiercely rounded on Morrison. The editor-in-chief of one paper wrote online that Australia was, quote, a bit like chewing gum stuck on the sole of China's shoes. Sometimes you have to find a stone to rub it off. Morrison insisted Wednesday that an independent inquiry was not targeted at any country. So what Australia is pursuing is not targeted. It is, it is said independently. It is said out of common sense. And I think in Australia's national interest and in the global interest. So far, Australia's call for an inquiry has only received lukewarm support internationally. France and the United Kingdom have said it is not the right time to focus on an investigation. US President Donald Trump has said China could have stopped the new coronavirus before it swept the globe. Only New Zealand has sided with its neighbour for an inquiry into the pandemic.